All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gorn Guitar Nirvana. You heard about them before, it doesn't matter how old you are, but Nirvana legendary. This song is called Calm As You Are, and I remember I heard this one on the MTV Unplugged version first time, and I just, this was groundbreaking for me. And from that point, I just love uh, these songs come out from them, especially from that album, never mind. So, uh, come as you are, cool, cool song. Let's take a look at this one. We don't use any capo, but we have a special tuning here. We need to drop two strings. So, I don't have tutorials on it, I just mention it now. You have to search for it on YouTube or wherever you wanna search for it. But the first string you need to drop is the A string, this, okay? And that needs to match up with the G, okay? So G is the third fret, sorry, third string from bottom up like this. And this A string needs to match up to match with that sound. So it will be darker, you need to turn a knob towards you. Okay, so these two strings match up. The next string we need to drop is the E string, and that will be a drop D tuning. So that needs to match up with the D string, which is the fourth string, counting down and up. So the E needs to match with that. All right. And there you have the tuning rights for handling calm as you are now let's take a look at the verse play and that's the famous melody okay so you're gonna start on the e string i will call that e a and d in the standard tuning it's not e now but just not to confuse everybody, so it will. I will stay with the standard names of the string. So, the E string, open E string two times, then first E string, second E string, then open A, second E, open A, and two times on second E, first E, open E, second A, two times on open E, and second A. And that's one round, slowly like this. And that is one round, all right? So, with the intro and with the verse play, we'll play this for 12 rounds. And then we we'll come into the next part, which is the uh, which is the chorus, and we can also bring in the bridge part. Now we need to learn grips, chords. I will call them certain names. It will not be uh, that the case. They're technically because we have drop strings now. But I will call them names, which will be names that if it would be a standard tuning, they will have these names around that area. All right. So we're gonna look at four different chords now. First is the F sharp minor. Beautiful sounding with that drop tuning. So that will be to hold second on E string, fourth on A, fourth on D, and then you have everything down there open. Open G, open B, and open E. The next chord is the A, and guess what? Everything is open here. So from A string, open D, open G, open B and open E. And if you get that open E string as well, it doesn't hurt anybody, but try to get the five strings below there and that's the A chord. Next will be uh, the B. So that will be second on A string, second on D, second on G, first B and open E. And the final chord is the D. And that will be like this. So you slide from this position with the fingers like this, and then you can just slide the same grip up to this fifth position here. That gives you fifth on A, fifth on D, fifth on G, open E, sorry, B, and open E. And there you have the grips. 
Now with this, we need to learn the strumming. So if you go back to the chords now where we have the F sharp and the A, those are the two chords we're gonna work with. For the chorus, you're gonna play the strumming in two different parts. So the F sharp, you're gonna play part one and the A part two. So I'll grab the F sharp chord, you're gonna play down, down, up, up, down, up, like this. So down, down, up, up, down, up. And for A, it's open. You're gonna play down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So. So part one was down, down, up, up, down, up. And part two, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. You're gonna play that back and forth for four rounds. Let's do a couple of rounds together. And I played four rounds, I couldn't hold myself back. It's that great sounding. That is the first course. Over now to, uh, let's see, we have the first verse first and then first chorus. Then we'll go back to the second verse, okay? So the second verse is to play this melody again and you play it for four rounds. So that is the second verse. Play for four rounds and then back to the chorus now. Again, you're gonna play it in the same way, the F sharp and then the A. You play it back and forth for four rounds. Then comes the bridge part and this is where we need to learn or use the next two chords. This happens, uh, I think it's uh, after the second chorus of course and it's one minute and 39 seconds into the song. Now we're gonna use the this B and then this E. You're gonna use the same principle here when it comes to strumming. You're gonna play B, part one, the down, down, up, up, down, up, and then D, part two, down, up, down, up, and then up, down, up. You're gonna play that back and forth for four rounds. So it goes like this. So there you have the bridge part, the first one. After that comes the instrumental part, and that is to play the verse play, the famous melody for 10 rounds, okay? And after these 10 rounds, this instrumental part comes the third chorus. You're gonna play it in the very same way as the previous courses, four rounds of those chords, F sharp and A. After the third chorus comes the second bridge part, and you play the same chords, same strumming. Instead of playing four rounds now, you play it for six rounds. And we are into the final part of the song. It's the instrumental part that ends this song, or the verse play, whatever you wanna call it. The famous melody, you're gonna end it with four rounds. And that covers Nirvana's Come As You Are. And it's like a breaking point that this time now to have this song just here on Goring Guitar it means uh, a lot to me. So uh, Nirvana, legendary, they have a special place in my heart. So uh, yeah, hope you understood this troll. I think you did. Um, look up the tuning there and really get it right and from there on it's very easy for simple chords and a cool melody you can play everywhere. I learned this song with standard tuning when I was young, especially this melody here, but if you want to match up the sound you need to do like I did, the tunings there, otherwise just go with standard tuning and at least you can handle the melody. The chords will be a little bit different, you'll have different grips and so on, but the melody Everybody knows it. So give it a try. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Support me in any way you can. And thank you so much. Play tuned.